patiently waiting in a uh, police department near you is our good friend, Administrative Lieutenant Eric Tilly of the West Bloomfield Police Department. Uh, Lieutenant, good morning and welcome to the Megacast. Good morning, sir. Thanks for having me. Sir, no one calls me sir. Thank you. I like that. Very kind. Um, how are things at the WBPD going? Uh, it's going very well. Um, the officers are continuing to follow proper protocols. So far, we've had no positives in the department, so that's good. Um, and and you know, we're, with an we're, abundance of caution. Forgive me for interrupting. I I, uh, I apologize. And, you know, in addition to you guys doing so well, isn't it reassuring to know that things are going much better in the community as well? The numbers continue to, to fall. The coronavirus numbers continue to fall as well. That seems to be working out really well. Uh, we're tracking the numbers also with the Emergency Operations Center in conjunction with the fire department. And they're reporting the numbers are going down. So that's uh, positive for us. Very good. So, you know, we're seeing this thing statewide, and I, I don't think it is an acute problem in West Bloomfield or any of our communities here. But, um, you know, we're having more and more people uh, exercise their their own thinking that is contrary to the state law and keep uh, hair salons and barbershops and other businesses open or, or opening other ones fresh. Have you seen anything like that going on in our backyard? You know, fortunately, our uh, citizens and our businesses have been following the executive orders by the governor, and things have been going very well in West Plainfield Township. Uh, we have had no uh, issues or complaints uh, regarding that, and if we do have some sort of third-party complaint, usually we can mitigate that, speak with them, and they're more than happy to comply with, uh, or maybe they just had a misunderstanding. It's been really, really good in West Plainfield. Well, it has, and and uh, that's not to say somebody might not pop up and just say, you know, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, open up their business because they get frustrated or there's just economic concerns. But it's good that we have not seen that. Uh, I don't know that you're going to have a comment on this, but um, law enforcement in other communities, they've been reluctant to, you know, sheriffs and other things have been reluctant to enforce some of these state orders you know how do they make that decision isn't it isn't it uh, the requirement of local law enforcement officials to enforce and implement any laws federal state local you know i don't know that i can comment for what other agencies are doing but i can speak for our agency when i say that uh because we have such great community involvement uh really it's just become that if there's any issues we just simply explain the issues, explain the order, and request compliance, and we've had great success with that. Well, and that doesn't surprise me, and that's been the history right here for the most part. And uh, But I think part of that, too, is that we're moving along. I think if, if we run into a situation where this continues well beyond what the people in the community think is necessary, we might see a different uh, uh, you know, a different result. And I think part of it, too, is is our communities. Done. We've all been able to stay connected really well, and I want to applaud the folks at the West Bloomfield Police Department for being a big part of that. What's it like for your officers on the front line? Now, are they answering a lot of questions, interacting with people quite a bit? Are people asking uh, law enforcement questions about uh, about matters, things they can do, things they can't do, other related coronavirus questions? Yeah, we, we faced a fair amount of questions. Uh, the officers are well informed, and so they're able to answer most of the questions. Um, the deputy chief has also put out several videos uh, and has done a fantastic job with the, uh, the public information. Uh, like I said, in conjunction with the fire department, there's a lot of public information going out on the township Facebook page and on the updated township website. So the information's out there. We educate and we direct them to uh, where they can get more education. Erica Jones just stepped in our studio from our team. She's been out in the field and uh, reporting around our area. And uh, you know, I can let Erica speak for herself, but uh, we've been finding that people are really doing a good job wearing their masks and doing all the things that they should be doing. Wouldn't you say, Erica? Yeah, you know, 
definitely. I really haven't seen any issues with people not wearing masks. One thing I have noticed, though, which I find interesting, is people are wearing them improperly, which I think is, you know, key to mention because we have had a lot of people on our show talk about that, how, you know, it's so important to be wearing it properly. I'm seeing people all the time that have their uh, mouth covered but not their nose, and I'm just like, oh, I wish I could say something to that, <laughs> but not my place. But that's definitely one thing I've noticed. I think everyone needs a lesson on that. Yeah, you, you, I imagine uh, Eric Tilly from the West Memphis Police Department, you probably see some of the same things. It gets a little uncomfortable, you know, but I, for the most part, we see people are wearing their masks. What are you, what are you finding? So we, we are. We see that people are wearing their masks, and um, I think that's going to be one of the keys moving forward as we try to reopen society is that um, if people can follow the proper precautions, wear their masks properly, uh, you know, keep their hands clean either by washing or uh, alcohol products, alcohol-based products, if they can keep social distance. I mean, these, these are the, the same things we keep hearing over and over because I think they're the keys to moving forward. And this isn't just my opinion. I think this is the opinion of the, of the experts uh, who, who tell us this is what we need to do in order to, to reopen society. Uh, finally, before we say so long, I just want to check in and, and understand how the first responders are doing how you know it's been a couple of months now and first couple of days you know we probably were all this is new and difficult but new but now we're almost into two months of dealing with all this how the officers handling it and holding up you know they're they're doing very well um i know everybody's used the term the new normal but it has kind of become that the officers know to wash their hands all the time when they come in the building they go through a central checkpoint where they have a screening for various questions related to possible COVID exposures. They have their temperature taken. There's really no issues. Everybody understands the protocol. They're cleaning common touch areas. They're wearing their masks when they inter interact with the public. So, uh, you know, we've kind of adjusted it. Everyone seems like they're doing very fine with that. All right, Lieutenant, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Anything else you want to add before we say so long? No, I think it's just important for people to uh, be safe and follow the protocols. All right. Well, thank you very much for your reminder on all fronts. Thank you for your service. Please extend our thanks to everyone in your department as we thank uh, law enforcement all across our coverage area. And uh, best to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, there you go. One of the guys in the front line, that is uh, Administrative Lieutenant Eric Tilley of the West Bloomfield Police Department.